Make a rough sketch so that it will be easy to implement it in the pencil. Now make that outline uh, in the pencil graphite. Hold your knife like a pen and you place your ring finger on the pencil so that you will get a stable position and a precise outline. Mark the second uh, heart shaped outline. For graphite you can easily use knife uh, for a wood if you need you can use a pen or pencil. Why the marking is much needed because uh, to make it precise cut. Uh, You can see I am using a pen to mark that uh, small outline now. In this sketch the filled part must be carved first like the wood portion first and then the graphite below the heart. Once the wood area is carved out, carving in graphite should begin from bottom to top. Why? Because uh, the link will be weaker if it carved first. So we should carve the heart first and then we should uh, concentrate on uh, the link portion. Using knife in an inclined position will make the cut easier. We can't uh, use the knife completely in a straight position, it will uh, make the carving part very harder. So make a, first make an inclined cut and a straight cut, so that making the combinations uh, it will be easier to cut the graphite or wood portion out of the part. Uh, you can see it, I am making an uh, inclined cut and also a straight cut and I am removing the part. So like this we have to make a cut. As I said to you earlier, uh, first we should make the wood portion out uh, so that uh, we will know the size of the graphite completely. Now you can see we reach the back side of the wood portion. So it's time to cut the graphite. Uh, as I told you earlier, we should start from the base. If the link is made first, uh, it gets weaker. So that we can't uh, make a heart shape after that. So we prefer to make a heart shape first and then we move on to the link. Once the hole is formed, it is easy to judge the back side. If you work, if we carve it uh, simultaneously, it will be easier to finish it off. Now you can see one part is completed. Uh, same like the same way we should uh, do it on the other side, so that uh, we will complete the heart shape. Now uh, I'm trying to make hole uh, the below the link uh, as we discussed in our design. Uh, see how I hold the knife, I hold it in an inclined position. I am not holding it in a straight way. If you, do, if you hold it in an inclined way, it is easier to carve. You can easily reach the back side. As I told you earlier, uh, you can uh, work on both sides simultaneously. From the front side, make a marking to the back side so that it will be easier to find out uh, which is the centered part. See I am uh, trying to make a line from the front side. I just made a small marking uh, at the end. Okay I can find the point uh, from that I am drawing a line. Center point, uh, now I identified the center point. Uh, now we can uh, start carving. 
I said dear dear keep the knife in an inclined way so that uh, it is easier to carve since I increased the speed it appeared to be quick uh, but it should um, handle like a feather you can you should consider both the thing pencil as well as knife as a feather so that uh, it uh, will get a good finish as well as uh, it won't get break see the hole is formed now once a hole formed it will be easier to carve now it is the heart shaping we can't uh, postpone the heart shaping because once the link is made it gets weaker the link i repeat here is the connection point that is a chain area once the chain type is made uh, it will surely get weaker uh, can't shape after that if you try to shape uh, it will there are a 90% chance of uh, getting break don't be easier to carve on the left side uh, compared to right side uh, in that time no need to rotate the knife instead you can uh, rotate the pencil it is one of the efficient way of uh, using it uh, okay. we almost done with the heart shaping as we discussed earlier uh, once a hole is made it is easier to carve uh, here we are trying to make an u shaped hole can uh, remember that uh, diagram the uh, sketch rough sketch she done before so we are uh, carving to similar to that uh, now you see one part of that uh, u shape is completed the same way you should carve on either side I can see we got that uh, U shaped uh, hole. Okay. Now it's time to focus on the link part. Uh, it is the uh, toughest uh, thing here. I'm just making a marking so that we can uh, remove the top part later. Okay. In the link, uh, first what we're going to carve is the bottom part uh, of the link. Uh, we should make an halo here halo between the links uh, so i'm going to tell you how to make